It's not often that a hole in the ground attracts so much attention, but it was more what was going in the hole that was of interest, a time capsule containing army cap badges, regimental shields, and even the current garrison phone book, all memorabilia donated by garrison regiments. Josh Campbell, an ex-private of 2-3 Pioneer Regiment RLC and injured in Afghanistan, was given the honours of locking the box for the last time. So I'm local to the area, so hopefully in 50 years' time when it dig it up, I'll, either I'll be around or my daughter or my son or somebody who hopefully will be here to dig it up for me. Using state-of-the-art bomb disposal equipment, a cutlass EOD robot, the time capsule was lowered into place. Fittingly, that job was the responsibility of the outgoing garrison commander, due to leave post at the end of this month and a strong supporter of the new theatre. Now the, the present theatre, the new theatre, is, is going to be right in the heart of the community and therefore able to be used by military and non-military alike. The theatre is the final building of over 500 that have been built in Tidworth under the Aspire defence contract. They say it's been a real experience working on military ground and what that occasionally unearths. We've dug up an awful lot of stuff in the last seven, six or seven years. Um, we've dug up unexploded ordnance. I mean, it's almost beggar's belief, but in the early days, they used to do mortar practice between barracks here. So, you know, we dug up a lot of unexploded mortar rounds. You know, it always amazes me that the, the army are so unfazed when that happens. The theatre is due to be officially opened in September this year, but perhaps the biggest spectacle will come in 50 years' time when the ground is opened up again. Kath Brazier, Forces News, Tidworth.